once our sound system is finally ready. And if you want to learn how to make your own sound system, you have to watch the video till the end. On the last episode, we fixed this and now we are going to make it working. So stick to the end of the video to see how we are going to do the installation. The speakers. So the front door panel, we need to start removing the screws. It's one screw here and two screws here. So first we take, you can take a tool like this. Here it's a little gap, you can put it in and you can pull it like this, it's easy to remove. And here, you find here in the corner, one little gap that you can remove it. You put some plastic. And you remove it like this. Then you have one, two, three Phillips screws. You can take the tool. You remove this. Then you can put this here. You put a lot of pressure and then it's coming out. Okay. So after this is, you take the screws. Uh, we will remove it later. You take off this. You take off the cables for the locking here. And then on the back side now, because I don't want to damage the leather on the front, here I, it's three clips. One, two, three. You push it with your nail like this and here, and you lift it up slowly, slowly. And there it goes out without uh, damaging anything. So now on the front side, you can take this, it's this one. It's this little clip here that we need to remove. You can put this tool here. It's a little bit like this. We take it off. This is out now. Then you do like this and you have the front door panel out. Don't forget the screws that is already here. In order to remove the back door panel, you have to remove this uh, plastic that is here. It's one screw inside there. You have to take off this plastic that is here. It's easy to, it's only three clips. Then you take off this, that it's on the back of this. You take it off, it's one screw here, one screw there. The rest, you pull it very hard and then it's out. So it should be not so hard. Then on the back here, you have to come and see. You, you remove this, is what is open the door when you pull the handle. It's easy to put it back. It's like this, you take it out, then you take off the cable from the window. So after you remove all this and you pull out the door panel, this is, it has, is the window switch and it has one cable on the back. That this, you can pull it from here or you can put your hand on the back side and push these little clips 
so you don't uh, damage the leather on the door panel. So you can do this, then you take it out like this. Here on the back, it has the, the cable, it has one clip here. So first you need to remove this clip and then you can remove the cable like this. You take this off and then you remove, you remove the door panel. This is how you remove the door panel. You can, you can also, this, if you don't want to do it that way, you can also put uh, plastic here, take it off, remove the clips, remove this, and then you can pull out. But it's, if you push these clips on the back, it's uh, less chances that you are gonna damage the, the leather or the plastic. So now, that we have all our four door panels out of the car. We have, uh, here we are gonna work with the speaker. We, we, you can remove this. Pretty tight inside there. You remove it. And uh, it's three Phillips screws. And this is our original speaker. As you can see, it's not the best speaker on the market, but it's not the worst. It's pretty decent for what it is. Now we will put an adapter here and we are gonna mount our uh, aftermarket speaker. So I bought these adapters. These adapters, it's from Citroën uh, Berlingo or Peugeot Partner. It's uh, three and a half centimeter uh, thick and uh, it's with uh, three screws. This is our aftermarket speaker from Ground Zero. I will put a link in the description below so you can find this uh, speaker. Uh, it's uh, higher quality than the factory and uh, this is our adapter. Our adapter is made from MDF. So if you want, you can actually make your own uh, adapter. And uh, here we test fit that it's not gonna hit back in the window. I have the window all the way down so I can see with my magnet if I'm gonna have problem. But it's okay, it's no problem. You can do it like this. You can see it's not hitting nowhere. So now what we are gonna do, the screws are not, are not exactly here, this screw we can take, and this screw here, it's not, uh, it's not exactly on the, on the factory hole. So my brother now is making a template from the factory speaker and uh, we are gonna put it back here and we are gonna transfer the screws, the holes where exactly should be. And then we are gonna screw this here. So now let's go and uh, make the holes. So guys, I unpacked everything, all the speakers that we are gonna put on our car. We are gonna put component speakers in all four doors. MG4 has only in the front component speaker. Now we're gonna put in the back too. We are gonna make a hole uh, right next to the handle and we are gonna fit the tweeter there. Uh, on the back, I bought this two uh, six by nine oval speaker and we are gonna make hole here. We are gonna make two holes and we are gonna fit them. So for the, this is gonna sound very nice for the rear passengers. And also now our car is gonna have uh, two, four, six speakers, four tweeters and one subwoofer. The sound system will be much more complete. Uh, we was unlucky though, uh, because I, I unpacked everything and uh, one set of component speakers was missing the two crossovers. This is gonna set our video back, but now uh, I will finish the installation in the front. Uh, I will connect the amplifier and everything and I will make sure I will film uh, this when it arrives. I will film the installation of it on the back door and I will put it in this video so you can see it. So now uh, we made uh, the correct holes on uh, the adapters for our speakers. Uh, our adapters was from Citroën Berlinko. The, here is the adapter. The thickness is, is correct. It's made from MDF. And uh, my brother made this uh, template and uh, it's the exactly holes from the factory speaker. So we took the template, we put it uh, on the back side of our adapter like this, we mark it, we made the holes, and this is gonna fit perfectly our, uh, our car. This is, this is the plan. The only thing now, we have to make a hole on the adapter 
because as you can see here, the connector sits very close to the, to the wall of the adapter. So now we are going to make some holes so we can put the cables uh, to, the, to the spot that, that it needs to be. So now we are going to finish the adapters, put the sound dampening inside the doors and uh, put everything back together. As you saw, I, I put uh, all the speakers together with the adapters here. Uh, what I did, I end up uh, bending these connectors here. I used the cable that came with the set. I zip tied it on the speaker. I made sure that it's not going to hit the cone of the speaker. And I make hole on the adapter and I took the cable out. So this is the final uh, product. I pre-drilled all the holes. This is ready to go on the car. And here we are going to cut the connector, the factory connector from the car, and we are going to use our own connectors to connect it to the existing uh, cables on the car. Here is all four. Uh, I made two cables coming from the right side, and I made two cables coming from the left side. So it's matching the door, how it's coming, the, the cable from the door. Uh, while I'm do I was doing this, my brother here, he started uh, putting the sound dampening inside the doors. Here you can see he make a template of everything and we are going to use this from the, for the front door and the back door. We are also going to put inside there one piece because there the metal is very thin on the back side of the door and it can cause some uh, noise we don't want. And here we are going to cover this uh, factory plastic that is already there that can make uh, sound. So we will go ahead and put it on all four doors and uh, we are going to mount the speakers and I will show you how we are going to connect the, the cables. What we are doing is that we are removing this excess part so we have a better place here uh, to stick on. So we are just going to cut this. This sound opening, it's aluminium with this uh, black glue on, on the back. It's uh, two millimeter thick and uh, it's really doing a good job. So if you can listen, now there is not so good. So we are going to put this piece here on the back. Every piece you add, it makes a very big difference. Now, I'm very happy and satisfied with this outcome. It's a big difference on the sound of our door. Now, we are going to do the same exactly thing that we are not going to show on camera on the other door. And I'm going to show you where we are going to put uh, sound, uh, sound happening in the back door. On the back door, my brother has already prepared all the pieces here, as you can see. I have already cut this, so it's almost the same like in the front, in a different shape. So listen now. And then you put this.
and now it's installed on the back door it's already very different here also if you can see it's also the the clips from the plastic from the outer trim of the car so you can make a hole and uh, just uh, make it around the clip and now it's everything ready we can uh, now we can continue uh, with our speakers and connect the cables and we can put the doors back together so let's do it so now in the front door our speaker is component and it comes with a crossover we, we will not put the crossover inside the door because the tweeter is not located in the door panel it's located on the dash so our crossover is going to be under here under the dash and uh, we, we use the factory line that is coming inside the door so we are going to cut it here and connect the speaker straight here but we are going to put our adapter to the factory lines so we are going to cut them we are going to uh, take uh, we are going to convert it from high to low to rca that is going back to the amplifier and then we are going to take the lines that is coming from the amplifier and we are going to connect them to the factory to the factory uh, wiring that is coming inside the door and between here is going to be the crossover uh, that is uh, the high is going to the dust and the low is going inside the door so that's the plan uh, we are going to go ahead and cut this uh, I, I don't find any reason to, to, to find an adapter here so I can have an adapter and then I have the cables here I'm just going to cut it I will leave five centimeter on the factory so if I want to put the factory speakers again I can uh, weld this back on the factory wiring and I can put the factory speaker but now I don't think we need any adapter so we are going to cut a little bit the tape So we cut our connector here, we save 5 centimeters. it's a little bit tricky to cut this tape off, you have to be careful also not to cut the cables somewhere you don't want, so this we are going to save it with the speaker and I will show you how to find the positive, then we go ahead, we do this and we also cut the cable like so. So here we can put our connectors. Here we have our aftermarket connectors and the press. That we are going to press them. So where is coming the, the power? I always like to put the female because if it's going, even if it's going out, then it, it cannot touch somewhere and uh, ground and have some problem with the amplifier or uh, our uh, sound system. So you put this here, inside, you take the press, you press it. So now here how you are going to find the positive on your factory wiring. We have the factory speaker and the factory connector here with the factory colors, everything. So you take your battery, you take one and a half volt battery and you can test. You do like this and the speaker is going inside. So that means it's, it's the opposite way. So you put the minus here, you put the minus of your battery on the other connector and the plus here and you see that your speaker is going out that means that the white cable with the orange uh, stripe is the positive cable for our uh, front right speaker you can uh, do the same and I, will all, and I will also try to put uh, a link from uh, diagram wiring that I found on the web 
in the description below so you don't have to do this thing and you can just read uh, which color is what. But this is how you can find it. <laughs> After we find which is the positive and which is the negative, then I use this uh, Teza tape. It's exactly the same like the factory tape. You can do like this, the cables, nice and pretty. And then we will zip tie them. We will zip tie them here so they are not uh, going around and making noise. So we zip tie them here, very nice. We cut the zip tie. And if you notice, on the factory speaker here, we have this uh, foam surrounding that it's coming and touching the, the door panel. So I bought this. It's uh, some kind of uh, flex tape, foam tape, you can say. And we are going and we will put it around the speaker. And then our uh, front right door is ready. It's, we can put the door panel back and we are gonna do the same on the left door. So you take this, it's uh, with glue. And now we are finally ready to put back the door panel. Uh, here you can see everything is finished. I went ahead and I put a little bit extra sound dumping here and the circle I cut the leftover I put it here because I tried the, the speaker with the factory infotainment system and it was making uh, some noise that I didn't like so I add some more sound dumping and now it's uh, very nice. Putting back uh, the door panel it's very easy in the front. Uh, first you have to add the, the cable that opens the door with the door handle. You put it like this, you click it back into place, and this is good to go. You put your hand through, you take the cable out, and then this side of the door panel, it has to slide in here, in this rubber. So you take the door panel, You slide it in, now it's in, you try the handle, everything is okay, and then you click it back into place. It's pretty easy to take off and put back the door panel in this car. Next is our three screws. It's two here and one here. So we put our three screws back. Then we put the cable back on the window switch. We click this little clip back. And then we push it in and it's ready. This is the installation in our front door. Now I will show you in the back. Guys, this is another weekend. I finally got microsovers for the speakers. And uh, on the back door, as you see, we also put uh, sound dumping material around the speaker. The leftover, we put it here. So we did the same as in the front door. Now, the crossover, how you connect it? The crossover has the input 
that it's the cables that coming from uh, our factory wiring. It has the woofer out, that is our woofer, uh, the mid speaker, and we have tweeter out that we make the hole and we place it right next to the handle here. So this, you cannot screw it somewhere, but we can zip tie it. And we will zip tie it here. We will have our input connected here. And then we will have our Twitter cable waiting here to connect it with, and this, we are gonna put some connectors and put it in the speaker. And this is what separates the low frequencies with the high frequencies, the, with the tweeter and the mid. On the back door, it's located inside the door because we have the tweeter here. On the front door, it's located under the dust. One cable is going inside the door, the other cable is going to the dust. So let's go and make this now. Here we are going to, to place our tweeter on the back door from our uh, component speaker. So this place here, it's a very nice place, is over the speaker and it's gonna improve the uh, sound quality. Here I have the other door, this is the hole. In my case was 41 millimeter and I will show you now in the back. Here is the back side that we made the hole. It's also a uh, hole on the door panel and all this door handle trim, you can remove it by removing these screws. You can take it out, make the hole easy and then screw it back on the door panel. And here uh, we just had to grind a little bit this so our Twitter fits. The Twitter, the Twitter fits very nice and this is the plan for the back door. So now uh, all our cables are connected. Here we have uh, the input, the woofer output, and the tweeter output. I use this TESA tape, so everything is uh, nice and uh, look like a uh, factory. This is uh, where our tweeter cable is going to wait. And uh, this, we are gonna zip tie here. You have to make sure before you tape everything that you have all your pl uh, plus and minus uh, the correct way, otherwise, it's not gonna sound nice if it's this wrong and the front uh, left door is wrong and everything is wrong, then uh, the one speaker is canceling the other one. So it's not sounds correct. So now we are going to zip tie this, uh, everything here. So it's tidy. Nice and tidy. I put the crossover here, I zip tight it and I also add some extra tape because this cover, because this cover it's easy to open so it has some special place with the zip ties. I put one circle of tape over it and then I zip tie it on place so this is no way it's going somewhere. And now we are ready to put our door panel back. So to put the rear door panel back it's uh, easy. To put the rear door panel back, it's easy. First, you make sure all your clips are in place. Here is the tweeter that we uh, here is the tweeter that we made the hole in the front, and here is the cables from the for the tweeter, and we have uh, the the cables from crossover from the crossover here. So first, what I'm going to do, I will connect the tweeter. Make sure. You put the minus into minus. So this is connected. The only place I find out that I don't have problem to place uh, our crossover, it's here. 
It's, uh, I just put it under the window mechanism, I zip tied it and I use some foam tape on the back so it's not making noise. I zip tie all the cables here nice and clean and now we are ready to put our door panel back. Here you see we have made our hole, this is our uh, tweeter, I have already connected and then to put the rest of the zip tie, uh, the rest of the door panel back, it's uh, easy. So you take this, you make sure that you are not gonna damage the cable on the way, so I will put it back here like this. And then I will connect my door handle I click it into place, I take it up here, it has to slide on the back of this plastic, so you do like this, it's going on the back, then you pull out the window cable, yep. here is our window cable, we make sure that we are not damaging the cable of the tweeter. Okay. Nice. And now we click it into place. That's it. Now we will put our window switch back we put this clip back we click it into place we put our two screws back We put our plastic here. Finish. Nice. We put this. And now we have mid, Twitter, Crossover, everything inside the back door, nice and tidy. So now what we are going to do, we are going to make the holes here for the oval speakers. So uh, you can use this as a template. This is a protective cover for the speaker, but you also can use it as a template. Because if you put it here, the hole is exactly the hole that you need to make for your speaker. So. We take these two, we will measure here, so it, I will put them as much as I can on the side because here is stronger on the side, if you put it very close in the middle then it will do like this, it will flex in the middle. So we will put it here and we will measure. As you saw, I made holes on this part of the car and I, I screwed the speakers with uh, the factory screws that came with the speakers. So this is very tight here, it's very nice. I put the speaker protector and now, what, because this is a part that you remove from the car and you put back inside the car, what I'm going to do is that on the cables that goes to amplifier, I'm going to use a connector. So we are going to run our cables under here, under here, uh, on the right side, 
and we are going to use a connector and pins we are going to use all this so you we can connect and disconnect uh, the, spe the back speakers if we want to remove this and put something big on uh, our uh, bagage so now uh, I will make a time lapse uh, how I will make the wiring here
So guys, the installation of the back speakers is complete. This is what I did. I took cables, I put the connectors, then I, I took this uh, square things that you can, uh, it, it's with double side tape and you can put a zip tie through and you can stick it here and then you can have all the, your cables nice and uh, tidy, nothing is hanging. It's, uh, the speakers is screwed. One cable is coming like this, the other cable is coming like this. And then in the end here, as you saw, I used this four pin plug. And uh, how I did, if you see it's numbers on. So I have plus minus one speaker, plus minus the other speaker. Uh, the other side of this is gonna come from the amplifier up and then you can uh, put this uh, in the car, you can remove it and you can put it back in. This is the installation. The wiring. So first, we are going to start with the power cables for our amplifier. Uh, here we have six meters of, uh, cab of yellow cable and uh, one meter of black cable. This is gonna be the ground and this is, will come from the battery. On MZ4 now, we will put this uh, fuse box here in the front you can see here, this is the plus from your battery. So if you lift it up like this and you press this one, you can remove it. Here, we are gonna place the fuse box down here. And also, uh, we are gonna take uh, power from, for our cable from here. Here, if you look closely, you can see that this is a 500 ampere uh, fuse. It's very big. We, you can also take uh, power from here and then put it uh, to your fuse box, but we are gonna take power from here, uh, drive it before the fuse, uh, drive it to our fuse box and run it back all the way. So we will uh, remove all the plastics inside on the left side of the car. Uh, ah, also the cable. It's a very nice spot here on the back. Very nice spot, exactly where I have my finger. This, is, uh, it's a rubber that you can cut a little bit and your power cable can go from there inside the cabin. So, our power cable is gonna be on the left side. So, uh, we will start now and taking uh, off the plastics and run the cable through. We will start from here under. The first plastic we are going to remove is this one. It has this plastic clip and a couple of Phillips screws up here. We are going to remove this and then we will continue with this one and this one so we can run the cable uh, all the way back. So I cut this little piece from here, from there. And now I will take this cable through. Here, you can see there. I try to hold the camera also. There is the hole. There. Now you can see the hole. It's there from the factory. So you just Cut the end of it and you can run a wire cable inside there and then pull your power cable inside the cabin. So guys, here first you pull this out, then you lift this up and then you pull this. Everything is with clips, it's no screws here on the plastic until now. So you remove this, I run my cable in already and now I'm going on my way back. Here, the seat, you just pull it up and it clicks out and under here. You, and then be careful, it's two cables here. These two cables gives the signal if the rear passengers wear the, wear the seat belt or no. So we will remove these two cables. <laughs> Now we are good to take out the back seat. We take this out. We place it here. 
that's very good. What I find out is that on this car, if you're going to remove all the side uh, plastics, you have to start from the back. First piece, it's this. After you remove, after you remove the back seat, you, you do like this. You unclip this one first. It's no screws nowhere. You take it off. The only thing you have to be careful, it's all these little metals that it's on the plastic. After this, next comes this one, the big one. The big one has two screws here and in the middle holds this one. So you have to take these clips off carefully so you don't break it. It's very tight inside there. You, you unclip it, you take off the center panel and then you just pull it up. Two screws and it's connecting with the center. And after you remove this, the last piece, this one, is coming out very easy. But this, if you want to take out only this, you can lift up this and uh, again it's coming. But we are going to run the, all the cables back. So I went ahead and I took both sides now. So I can run my cables and put everything back together. And then it's only connecting under the, um, under the glove box here. Here it's going to be our adapter uh, from high to low under here. So we have to remove this too. Uh, after we do all this, then it's connection. We run the cables, connect everything, and we put the plastics and we are good to go. installation of our fuse box here in the front. I ran the cable all the way to the back and I will show you now. Here I end up, uh, I screw the fuse box here and uh, I took uh, power from here and I ran it all the way back. I, I used this uh, spiral, is extra protection. The only thing I didn't like is the quality of the fuse box. Uh, no matter what I was doing, uh, this uh, cover was popping off and I, I hate it. I did everything. Uh, I made the holes bigger. I did everything, but it's, fine. It, it's not working out. So this, I'm going to change it. But for now, it's going to do our job. Here is all the way back the cable. Fr there. It's going in inside the cabin. And uh, it's coming from here. Continues inside, I zip tied it with the, the factory cables that are going back. Here and under the seat and it's going to our amplifier. The ground, it's this one. I will, I will take ground from here, from the seat belt. And this is going to be the power of our amplifier. Also, this is the adapter that I'm going to use. This is what is going to convert uh, the high to low, to RCA. This is going under the dash. I will use four RCA, uh, two sets. Uh, so I, I will use all the lines uh, that car can offer. 
uh, to the amplifier and then I will have four speaker cables coming from the amplifier back front again uh, to, to the factory and they, they will connect to the factory lines that they are going inside the door. This is going to be the amplified lines coming back. So all these cables need to be on the right side. I will go ahead and put the cables on the right side so after this I can connect everything together. I put the double side tape on our painted plastic so it's not flapping with the wood and uh, I connected our subwoofer. The subwoofer it's a dual voice coil 2 ohm and uh, I connected it uh, in parallel so it's uh, 1 ohm on the amplifier. So now I will show you here inside I screwed the port there and here I glue it I put the cable inside the box connected the subwoofer and now we will go ahead and screw everything together all the cables is finally ready back here this is the subwoofer cable this is our speaker cables and this is our power cables and the RCA one tip is that the power cable uh, should not be like this with the RCA or like this. You have to avoid this thing. So what I did, I will show you now on the other side. Here is the power cable I saw you before. And here is the RCA. It's coming from the other side. And I put them under here and I tape them. And it's far away from the, it's 10-15 centimeters at least uh, far away from our power cable. I will show you now. Here. You can see all the cables. All this is factory cables. And uh, I add this, I add this. The power cable and the RCA. So, and now we are ready to put the seat back. I will put all the, all the plastics uh, back, the seat, everything. I will make the interior like it was before. And now we have only to connect here in the front, under the glove box, it's the amplifier. We have to take out the glove box, cut the cables, put our adapter and make everything ready. So I, w I will put uh, everything back in the car and we will start connecting the amplifier and uh, our adapter and our sound system will be finally ready. So I find it the easiest way is when you have taken apart everything. Uh, first, you need to put this one, the centerpiece here. The centerpiece here, it has four clips, these four clips you have to make sure that it's on the panel and not on here. Then you have to put it like this. You put it first here. Up. And then you push it in place. The second piece is the big one here. No, 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 no. The second piece is this piece in the front. It has only two clips. One here, one down here. You put it, this slides in the back. This now is in place. The third piece is this, the big piece. So we put it in the car carefully, so we don't scratch anything. The seat belt has to come through here, like this, and then you slide it down. This is the, the rubber surrounding from the door. 
I, find, I found out that it's easier if you remove it completely, it's easier to work. So now we will put this plastic here, this piece is the final piece. It has to be. This is very nice. Now we close this. Our cable is tidy and everything is looking nice. Now we are going to put back the seat. Then we don't have, we have not to forget these two cables. So here it's uh, this cable that needs to be connected under the seat here. So make sure you don't forget this. It's one here and one on the other side that we are going to put it now. So guys, now you saw, we finished with the doors, we finished with the back part that we put the speakers. I don't know which is the name in English, I'm sorry. So, uh, we finished all the mounting on the speakers and the la you saw how we put the cables through the car from the battery all the way to the amplifier for the, for the power and the RCA and the speaker lines we have on the right side. So now it's the final part we need to connect everything to play with the amplifier. Now if you turn on the sound system, you can listen uh, from the speakers, but it's uh, not through the amplifier. So now this is placed under the glove box of the car. Uh, I will show you now, we will demonstrate there which cables we need to cut and we will put our adapter. And after we put our adapter, we, we need to connect the lines that is going back to the amplifier and to put these two crossovers that will go, that will send the lines for the tweeters up on the dashboard and uh, the rest is going inside the doors. So I will show you all this now. So guys, we have to remove all this. You see already, I took out this uh, glove box and uh, this, it's no screws to take out. It, it has this little rope that it's make it uh, soft open. So you, you just, I have it here. This is what holding it for, from uh, falling off. You squeeze this, you take it out, you remove this uh, small rope and you take this out. And the rest here, uh, it, we need to remove one, two, three, four Phillips screws and it's under here more that we need to remove. And we will remove this and this, and then we will have access. So guys, here is our infotainment system on the MG4, on the back here. This is it. And you remove these two plugs here. It's one green and one gray. On the green is located the front speakers and on the gray is located the back speakers. So what I did, you see, I, I, cut, I cut the cables. Here we put our adapter, the input, the high input in our adapter. And here, it's the cables that are going inside the doors. So now here, we are going to connect the lines that is coming from the amplifier and the crossovers here on these cables. So what we are going to do, uh, we will stick the crossover with double side tape here under and the adapter, all, uh, all three things will be here under. And uh, as you see, I used the uh, connectors. So here is the 
female on the plug and male here. So even if I remove the adapter, I can just straight away connect this one with this one. But uh, now I think this is smart. If you want to remove the sound system from the car, you don't have to cut and weld cables. You just take this off, put it here and it's finished. So now the only thing that is left, our adapter needs one ground and one uh, 12 volt cable plus, and this is the remote that is going back to the amplifier that, uh, to turn on the amplifier and I have it here on my RCA I will connect it here so I, it's very hard for me to to film and uh, do this job so every step I'm doing I will show you it's me three hours later so here as you can see our adapter is in this is our adapter our high to low adapter. This is our two crossovers for our front speakers. And uh, here comes from the side, it comes the RCA and the, and the amplified lines from the amplifier. So two went to the crossovers and two went uh, straight uh, on the factory wiring. Uh, after the crossovers, uh, two cables went to the factory uh, to the factory wiring so they go inside the front doors and uh, the tweeters I made two lines that they go straight on the tweeters up and uh, I masked uh, the I taped the factory line and I used my line that is coming straight from the crossover so here you can see is the is the RCA the low and uh, this blue light is from our adapter here I took ground for our adapter and our adapter also needs uh, 12 uh, volt power and uh, this is the cables that they are going to the light when you open the glove box this uh, one cable has uh, power on when you unlock the car it's coming uh, plus 12 volts on this cable so I used this one and uh, after all this, uh, you can see here, uh, it's, it's these two uh, plugs. The green plug has the connection for the front speakers and the gray plug has the connection for the back speakers. And uh, the problem is that you have to work uh, high, the cables are very, very uh, short and you have to cut and you put all these connectors to make it work. So this is uh, what I did under here. It took me three hours to make everything working. And uh, I was using this, uh, the owner of the shop here has this special uh, tool that you can lie on and you can work upside down. This really helps if you have something like this. But uh, I do believe that uh, in uh, soon six months or maybe one year it will be a, a ready adapter that you can put there and without cutting anything and make your life much easier. But now we had to do it. Guys, my amplifier is finally connected. Everything is connected. Here you can see the green light means that it's turned on and everything is okay. Unfortunately, I missed uh, somehow the time lapse uh, that I connect everything back here, it's destroyed. So a quick uh, rundown to this, it was that uh, I used two Y here and made the two RCA for my speaker's input, I made them four and my subwoofer, it's only using uh, one RCA. So this is on this side, here we have uh, our power cable coming here. Uh, our ground, our uh, remote uh, turn on and uh, here is the subwoofer speakers here I put all four doors together in two channels so it's uh, two ohm per channel left and right and here it's uh, four ohm per channel it's uh, our, our rear speakers uh, I run all the cables as you see here nice I made them with tape and everything is looking cool. I still uh, have to vacuum back here and uh, this is the cables for the rear speakers. I just run them 
under there, all the way here. And uh, this is how I can connect and disconnect uh, this uh, rear part with the speakers. So now we are going to close the back seat. And we are ready to listen some music. So we put back uh, our cover here to look uh, nice. This is it. We're ready to listen some music, finally. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video, especially if you stick till the end. It was a really big effort from us to make this uh, happen. I hope you share, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's getting very cold, very late and it's time for us to go home. See you on the next one.